And did you have issues with Todd Bodine as well? We saw something at the end of the race. Yeah, I, I don't know if the spotter wasn't watching or what, but I went in on the outside of him in a turn one, and he drove me clean into the fence. So uh, over there talking to him about it, and like normally, he doesn't know what he did or understand what happened. I'm um, over there yelling at him, and he thought it was from the lap before. So he just, just doesn't have a clue sometimes and took us out of a good finish. But just part of it. We'll be back next week. Tempers flared. The nose of Ryan's Newman's car was bumped up by perhaps by a brush with Tim Fedoa. So coming around and into the garage, Newman turned Fedoa around. Well, you know how it is. It's been a long race. Maybe his brakes weren't working too good. He may have worn them out or something, and he just couldn't help but get it. Maybe that's how he slowed his car down. Uh, I'm trying to say, so what am I going to tell NASCAR is what I'm trying to think. <laughs> Steve is on the inside of P.J. Jones. It gets into him pretty hard right here. Turns the 81 car around. Steven slows down to avoid getting into the side of P.J. Jones. Here's P.J. and Steven getting ready to make the turn. And well, it could be a little payback here. <laughs> what do you think, Dale? <laughs> well, I'd say, yeah. And that's just the things that happen on the road courses here. And, and, can't, uh, can't we all just get along? Sometimes, no. <laughs> it just doesn't happen sometimes. Yeah, that wasn't even that. That was actually the same lap, just a little later on in that lap. You talked about the fact that tempers can flare in a hurry on the, the road courses. Let's listen to the radio here in the 81 car of P.J. Jones. Hey, watch your mirror for the 60 sec. I'm sure he's going to come up and uh, give you a little love tap. As he does. He better, he better be ready. That's all i got to say. That was a great comeback by Robbie Gordon. Though. I mean, he did a, oh. did a good job. I don't think Tony Stewart and Brian Vickers are happy with each other. Yeah, that's uh, probably from the little interlude deal. Well, let's show you this strange turn of events in the order in which it happened. This is under Green. That's just Harvey makes the pass, slides up in front of Kenseth, took the nose off of Kenseth's car. He jacked him up going across there, just down into three. He's able to get away from him here. Then the caution comes out. Yeah, that was everything that, that transpired between the two of them under yeah. green. And then uh, Harvick was not happy with Kenseth because he turns him pushed him across caution. the short chute, so he turns him around. Kenseth comes back around to pick up the position where he was running. And, turns and he turns around. him around. So what's the score, Larry? Oh, I'm not sure on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's at least one to one. And here's the second contact. We're showing that bumper dragon, and uh, Buckshot sees the 74 car coming to the outside and tried to miss, tried to get in, hit the 94, the 74 car. I guess he did make a little bit of contact, or I guess that was, was LaJoy avoided trying to avoid him. There's the 99 of Eric Darnell. Watch this now, bottom of your screen. The 9 and the, ooh, the 21 got loose, and when he turned, to get, try to chase it up the hill to get it straight. Ted was there in the right rear corner of the 21, caught the left front corner of Ted and just turned Kelly directly into the wall. And then Ted obviously is so upset about it, he's gonna run up here and just drive into the door of the 21 to Which show it, his displeasure. It was a racing thing. I mean, Kelly Byers had nothing, to, his truck got loose. Ted Musgrave was just on the outside of him. It, it was obviously not intentional. Well, there we see the nine car in the 57 just making contact. What happened to 57? Bill Weber? Well, Jeff Burton, I was going to try and talk to him for a minute. And uh, he's obviously not very happy with how things ended up. Talking it over with a member of uh, Jason Keller's crew, we wanted to discuss the end of the race with Keller and now uh, that's all over with and he's just going to walk off to the Winston Cup garage where he's going to practice. Oh, there they go. They went again. Oh, there they go. Hard. I thought he can't do that. Didn't make it that time. Caution is out. Here comes another car spinning. Oh, right. And LaJoy is 34. And that's all because he locked it down. Spin and save though for LaJoy as this wreck is still going on. I'm not so I think it's going on purpose. Still uh, going on purpose. I think one of them's throttles hung. I'm not sure which one. Kyle, what happened out there? Uh, I had a really, really, really awesome shot back low Chevrolet today, and it was going to win the race, but um, Kevin Harvick wanted to end the day short on us. You know, I got underneath him two or three times, and he ran me low, real low, coming off turn four, especially twice, and um, took all the air off my spoiler, and I got loose and was trying to chase it up the racetrack, and 
squeezed them in the fence, and then he wanted to commit murder on me and drive me down into turn one wide open all the way along the side of my car. So I think NASCAR's a little upset with me because I drove it back along the front straightaway the wrong way. And, um, you know, that's just because I didn't want to cause a big fight down there with Kevin Harvick. Yeah, you got a lot of, a lot of these, these guys uh, got a lot faster race cars than they do talents. And, um, you know, uh, we got stuck together there and riding down the racetrack. I'm trying to get back going straight, but, uh, you know, we just kind of hung up there. I was hoping to kind of brush them out of the way. But, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate for this recent Chevrolet. Um, a lot of fast race cars on the track with a few drivers that just uh, have their head up their rear end and, and don't know how to race side by side. They think you just got to run over somebody. This is after the race. Ooh. And he gets him all the time. Oh, he's right checking. And, and Jeff's arms out the window. And there's Rusty's response. Steve?